Okay, here's what I'm going to do. I need to put a level in here about right in there. And then the tank, it's, I'm going to put a 40 breeder here so it's 17 inches tall. That puts it about this high, which gives me plenty of room for access. It'll be very close to the level of this one here and a gap on the floor. But I need to do it without taking this apart and I need to be able to support the 75. So I measured up from the floor up to where the bottom of this board will be, the new board, which is right there. That's 13 and a quarter. So I'm gonna cut four 13 and a quarter boards, two by fours that set in here in that notch and come up. I'll screw them to this one. I'll screw it to that one, to that one, and that one back there. Once I get that done, I can then cut a board similar to this one, but wider so that it goes the whole distance. I'll set it on top of that 13 inch board and screw it in. It'll be supported in all corners, the same way in the back. I'll probably also cut another one here in the front and maybe in the back, and then I'll set this board against here. The tank will go past that a little bit, but it'll still support it real well. Once I get these four 13 and a quarter inch boards in and get my two horizontals in here, I'll probably put one going this way on each end, just for the heck of it, and then I can take this board out, which will be easy because I can unscrew it, Getting this board out and that board back there is going to be more difficult because they're screwed in from behind. So I'll probably have to take a, I don't know, I'm going to have to cut this out some way and get this backboard off here. I may not have to. I might have enough room to set that tank in there and it may not hit that, but I think it will. So I think that that board needs to come out. And if that need, board needs to come out, I will cut it out somewhere back in here. Um, in some manner so that this whole level will then be removed but I don't want to remove this level until I get the new one in to support the weight of the 75 up top. Once I get that done I will have a level sitting down here instead. This will be open. I can use this plywood that I was using underneath it. I will then tear that 40 breeder tank down up there, scrub all that algae off, all those rocks, scrub the shells, and I will put it back together underneath this one right here. So that's the plan. And so now I'm going to work my way into the shop and cut those boards. And hopefully with any luck, I'll be able to clean this up and move it to the other location. What I've done is I've cut four 13 inch boards and here is the mark that needs to be cut on each one so these can sit down on the floor. So what I'm going to do is I'll set my table saw this width and then cut this a whole bunch of times in through here and then use a chisel and a hammer to knock that out and then I'll have this nice little notch in here all cleaned up. So I'm going to go ahead and cut those now and then I will start this up here in a little bit. I have all of the notches set on there. chisel <laughs> to clean it up. It doesn't take very long. And now I have my board that is ready to set in there. So I'll go ahead and do all four of these and then we'll move on to the next step. Screws, using Torx head screws, bigger tip, and then I will put these, are you sure that's right? Yep, that's right. And then these set in here, just like that. And I've got some tips and some screws sticking out there. They're going to be a little bit in the way, but they'll squeeze in. Like 
so. something to set on it. All I need to do is do that on all four sides. to do is cut two boards that are from here to here, which is 53. cross piece on the end and then start taking this other part down. So that's the plan. Okay I cut two 53 inch boards. So now it's just a matter of setting them in there like that. Like that. Screwing them in. The tank will sit on here remove this. So I want to screw that one in first because this one's in the way. Make sure it's flush on the end. These things will give the support so that there's no way this will ever, ever sag or be a problem. This 
will support the entire stand too, so that when I take this piece out, that we don't have any, any problems with that 75, because I have a 75 on top of this, and I'm doing this without taking the 75 down. So, put this one in here, center it right there. very difficult to take out because they're screwed in from the other side and I can't get to it. So I want to leave these these boards in here. I'd like to take this one out if I could. This one, this one, and also that one. But I think I'm going to have to get my saw and I'm going to have to cut this out is what I'm going to have to do. Now I could probably force these out like that. stress to stand. But right now, this board does not need to be there. This one's got to go. I really, I really do think that one's got to go. Because a 40 breeder is 18, I believe, from front to back. And if I go 18, that's only 16, 17 and a half. It's going to stick out. This board has to go. That's all there is to it. I'm going to go get a saw and, and I'm going to go ahead and take this board out. So this will be interesting. Okay, I got the back board out back here. I have little stubs sticking out, but that really doesn't matter. I can't take them out easily. So what I want to do is that's a 36 inch tank. So I'll measure over here 36 inches from center, foot and a half each side, and then I want to put a board inside here, which needs to be 13 inches. So I'm going to go cut two 13 inch boards, and then I'll put them in here. It'll be the same length as the tank. It'll stick out a little bit past, but it'll still support it well. And yeah, if I really wanted to, to do that, I could put another board back here that was 36 and screw it in from this side and give it some support on there. I don't know, we'll see. Um, because the tank is 18, so 18 is going to be there. I think it's going to be fine. I'm going to go cut two 13 inch boards, put them here, and then I'll be ready to start taking that tank down and move it over to this location. So I am gaining. I did get my, my level dropped. So I'll just keep moving forward. Okay. 13 inch boards. That tank is 36 inches long. I need to find the center of this board. This is 53, you have 50 is 25, and 18 and a half on the 3 would be 26 and a half. And when you do that, always do it from both directions. So that you end up exactly in the middle. <coughs> now, since it's 36, I need to go a foot and a half, which is 18 inches. And then we go 18 from the other side. 
other side. Which is right there. And we check it. That is 36. So we're now 36 inches. That's where the tank is going to sit. So make a line with this so we know where to put the 2x4 have to mark the back side because we can just square it off with this square to get the back. Now hopefully these are cut the right length. I don't want to pound too hard on this thing. It's going to work out about right. Check if I my hammer. I believe I left my hammer in the shop. So I will go get the hammer. Okay, I got my hammer, have my 13 inch board in there. Put it up against the line that you made, top and bottom. Make sure it's flush with the top. You don't want to stick it out. You want it to be just right. And then go ahead and screw it in. Figure out where it goes in the back. Run your square. Take it down until it's flush, which it is now flush. And then force it down. So, get a shorter screw. a little shorter screw on these toenail ones. Because you can't come in from the other side. Like so. Now we do the same thing on the other side. place to put that. Backing just fell off. Cardboard with felt. Actually worked pretty good until it fell off. Probably all the vibrations. Okay, I have the tank moved off of there. I put water from that aquarium in this little 10 gallon. And I very carefully washed off all the shells, kept the water in them when I washed them, rinsed them and put them back inside here. The problem is most of the fish hid in the shells and so hopefully I haven't lost any. I did find one in the base rock, the carob sea stuff, uh, when I was cleaning it. Um, he was still alive and doing fine. But I'm hoping that I didn't lose any fish out of this deal. And what I've done is I've set this 40 breeder underneath the 75 um, I'm refilling it now, scrubbed off the Carib Sea base rock, made a little area there. I would like to get rid of some of the shells, I have too many, I'd like to only have like two or three maybe. The hard thing is, is seeing if there's a fish inside the shell, so I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. But I think that this is going to look pretty good 
when I get done because that gives me a 75 on top with a 40 breeder on bottom up off the floor. And what I'll do under there is I'll use that under there for storage and that'll work well. So I was able to move that level and get this tank put in there without taking the 75 down. So I'm going to get that done, try to figure out how to tell if there's any fish in these shells and try to reduce the number of them. I'm not sure how I can do that. I may not be able to. I might just have to put them all back in. Um, I do need to get a sponge filter put into this one over here and probably what I will do is this is the one from this tank that was sitting here. So I'll pull it. It has all the bacteria it needs for the fish in that tank and I will put it in this one down here. And that way I will continue to have the air that I need to do this. So I'll keep moving forward and check back later. Okay, I got the thing done. Everything is moved, it looks good. It's up off the floor. It's a little cloudy yet. And everybody's hiding, obviously. But this one is the one that has my Alto Lamper Logos Compressiceps and my Alto Lamper Logos Fisiatus. And I think it looks good. I like it being up off the floor. I think that's going to work real well. The problem is, one of these shells, either one of them in this bucket or one of them in this bucket, has a fish in it. And I can't figure out which one it is, and I don't want to put all them shells back in. So, hopefully I can sneak in here and see him and figure out where he's at. So, anyway, this project is done. Um, of course, the next step is going to be dealing with getting these off the floor and getting those off the floor, building new stands, um, going from there. So, anyway, I did get this done, and that is going to be the video for this weekend.